MW6LG for Ham Radio Basics. Welcome to my radio room here on Wolf Mountain. Today we're going to talk about what? That's right, we're going to talk about what? And in particular, watt meters. And what a watt meter may be telling you isn't what you think it is. And I'm going to do a demo in just a minute to show you that on SSB you could be fooled by your watt meter. And I have several watt meters set up around the shack. Uh, I've got some Drake watt meters, a couple of those. Um, a bird watt meter, which is relatively accurate and probably the standard of the industry. Um, an Array Solutions watt meter and an N8LP, LP100A watt meter. Both of those are peak reading and very, very accurate. Um, and an Elecraft watt meter. Uh, and I'll be recording um, an SSB signal through those and show you what, what those different watt meters uh, read, what they show. And I'll do that with these three cameras, so I'm going to move them around and get it going in just a minute. While we're on the subject of watt, we are running watts, not whiskey. So I would encourage you to not use the term whiskeys, which sounds a little bit like CB radio. We are running watts, and I don't know where the term whiskey came from, but I sure hear it a lot, and especially with Europeans. So let's stick to what we're doing here. We're running watts and the idea is to communicate and I think you communicate better when you avoid a lot of the jargon. Uh, in any case I'm going to take a break and set up the cameras and we'll do the test and on the other side I'll make some comments about it. So um, I'll be narrating over the video of the different watt meters telling you what I'm doing and then we'll look and see what they read. See you on the other side. Let's set the linear for 500 watts key down and I got to put it online. It's offline. All right, there we go. That's 600 watts. That's too much. 500. There's 500. Okay, that says 500 watts. And okay, this uh, Drake is showing a uh, hair under 500 watts. The um, bird is showing about 460. And um, that's at 500 watts roughly. That's at 489. And focus, focus, that's about 510 watts. All right. Okay, that was the first of a three part test. That was 500 watts key down from the Elecraft amplifier. Each of the watt meters showed around 500 watts, except for the bird, which was lost. And it was still within its spec of 5% of full scale at a 1000 watt slug. Uh, the sensor for the bird is also the furthest from the amplifier. Next part of this test is going to be to play a 10 second recording that loops. Uh, the K3 will play it over and over again and we'll see what the peak reading watt meters show. I'm not changing the output of the amplifier, it's still set at 500 watts and let's see what the watt meters show. Then the third part of the test is going to be looking at a couple of watt meters that are not peak reading and to see what uh, what kind of output they indicate. Alright, so 10 second recording. I'm going to have to move the camera by hand instead of the fixed cameras as I planned. And let's see what the peak reading watt meters show. CQ, CQDX, CQ, CQDX, outside of North America, Whiskey 6 Lima Gulf. Whiskey 6 Lima Golf Calling. CQ, CQDX, CQ, CQDX, outside of North America. Whiskey 6 Lima Golf. Whiskey 6 Lima Golf Calling. CQ, CQDX, CQ, CQDX, outside of North America. Whiskey 6 Lima Golf. Whiskey 6 Lima Golf calling. Okay, well that was very interesting. Uh, 500 watts from the Elecraft amplifier uh, indicated SSB signal was about 10% greater on all the watt meters at about 560 watts. Which means that if you tune up an amplifier, uh, a tubed amplifier, uh, for let's say key down at 1000 watts, you better increase the loading control a bit because you're going to have peak excursions uh, greater than the 1,000 watts and likely closer to 1,100 watts or 1,200 watts. 
So uh, to avoid splatter and distortion, you, you're going to have to load the amplifier more heavily than you think. So to the amplifier for key down, max output, that's great, but you're going to have to increase the loading control somewhat uh, to take care of those voice peaks, those excursions that exceed uh, what you think is going to occur. All right, next part of this test will be the non-peak reading wattmeters running the same power. Uh, again, the peak output's uh, going to be darn near 560 watts, and we'll see what uh, two of them indicate, two of the wattmeters, the Bird and the Drake, uh, set as non-peak reading wattmeters. What kind of output will they show? So here we go. E6 Lima Golf. Whiskey 6 Lima Golf calling. Outside of North America, Whiskey 6 Lima Golf. Whiskey 6 Lima Golf calling. CQ, CQDX, CQ, CQDX. Outside of North America, Whiskey 6 Lima Golf. Whiskey 6 Lima Golf calling. CQ, CQDX, CQ, CQDX. Outside of North America, Whiskey 6 Lima Golf. Whiskey 6 Lima Golf calling. Well, that was interesting. Some of the watt meters uh, showed maybe 10 to 25 percent of what the actual power was. A lot of books you read will say that a watt meter will show 50 percent. Uh, some do say 25 percent. In some cases, depending on the amount of compression, uh, it may only show 10 percent. So, uh, an and a standard watt meter that's not a peak reading watt meter uh, is not even close and really not of much value in SSB. Uh, there are some very accurate peak reading watt meters like the LP100A and the Array Solutions uh, watt meters. Uh, those will give you a true picture. The uh, bird watt meter that I used with peak reading in it uh, is also very close and it has a very expensive module on the inside to do that, that peak conversion. Um, so anyway, of all the watt meters I've tried, the LP100A and the, uh, the Array Solutions are, are my favorites, and they really do show and give me an accurate picture of how much power I'm running. And you really want to do that. You really want to know um, where you are in terms of power. In any case, hope you found it interesting. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe, that would be great. Uh, the subscriber base is growing. Uh, and I'm still working on an upcoming video where I'm going to demonstrate this guy, which is um, an automatic antenna tuner. Any frequency, any time, 50 ohms. I'm going to shoot some video outside when the weather improves and I'm going to attach it to the side of a tower. I'm going to connect one side of it to the tower and the coax to the other, to the coax connector, and we're going to load the tower. And we should be able to work lots of DX because we'll have a 40 foot tower with a 20 meter Yagi on the top. Should work great, right? Well, we might be surprised. Anyway, see you the next time. Thanks. This is W6LG73.